Chief Abdul Ghani Oyeshola Fawemi, popularly called Ghani, was born to the family chief Saeed Fawemi and Alaja Muniratu Fawemi on the 22nd of April 1938 in Ondo State. He had his early education at Asarudin Primary School Yemaja in Ondo from 1947 to 1953 and proceeded to Victory College Ikare from 1946 to 1958. Three years later, he enrolled at the Holborn College of Law, University of London, to study law. While in college, Ghani was popularly known as Nation because of his passionate interest in national, legal, and political affairs. He was an avid reader of the Daily Times and the West African Pilot, the most popular newspapers in Nigeria at that time. He came back to Nigeria in early September 1964 and enrolled in the Nigerian Law School and successfully completed the compulsory three-month course and was called to the Nigerian Bar on the 15th of January 1965. Ghani began his legal career in elder brother Rashid Fawemi's law office and since then used his legal skills to defend the poor and the oppressed in Nigeria. He handled about 5,700 briefs between 1969 and 2002 when he stopped appearing in court and about 1,500 of those cases were pro bono cases for those who could not afford proper legal representation. Ghani also handled many cases against institutions and authorities which set standards for many celebrated lawyers today. One of such cases was against the administration of former head of state, the late General Sani Abacha, where the Supreme Court decided that the African Charter on Human Rights is enforceable in Nigeria. This is the worst violator of fundamental rights in the history of this country within the short period of time. Ten months, it has castrated freedom of expression. In the course of his struggle, Ghani fought many battles between 1969 to 1996. Some against military dictatorship which saw him get arrested, detained and charged to court several times. His international passport was seized on many occasions and his residence and chambers were set several times. At the height of his human rights activism, Ghani was fondly given the title Senior Advocate of the Masses after being overlooked for the highest legal honor in the country, the Senior Advocate of Nigeria. He was later elevated to the rank of Senior Advocate of Nigeria in September 2001. Ghani was also the recipient of several international awards which included the Biennial Bruno Kreisky Prize and the International Bar Association's Bennett Simmons Award in recognition of his human rights and pro-democracy work. After forming National Conscience Party of Nigeria in 1994 with some other notable Nigerians, Ghani took his struggle further by contesting unsuccessfully for the presidency in 2003. And in 2008, even in failing health, Ghani showed his doggedness in his fight to uphold social justice when he rejected one of Nigeria's highest national honors, the Order of the Federal Republic, in protest of the many years of misrule since Nigeria's independence. Ghani died in the early hours of the 5th of September 2009 at the age of 71 after a prolonged battle with lung cancer. Today he is remembered as a human and civil rights lawyer, author, publisher, philanthropist, social critic and politician. His chamber has a library with one of the biggest collections of books, while his Nigerian weekly law report is a reference point for many Nigerians. Any criminal action, any criminal charge, any criminal proceeding in any court in the Federation on grounds, one of the grounds is public interest.